All the inside South Africans last week. Oh, look at this! Extra! Played rugby league from the age of about four or five. My brother played, uh, he's three years older, so I always went down with them, got involved with them. Um, got beaten up an awful lot by them, obviously a lot bigger. Um, so I had to learn to be a bit quicker than them. Played for school too, I had a good rugby school that I went to. From school it was, I got picked up to go to play for Wigan scholarship. Uh, and then I yeah, started playing for Wigan when I was just turning 18 and stayed there until I was 20, until I went to Northampton. I grew up watching uh, a very successful team that had the likes of Jason Robinson, Sean Edwards in. Um, especially Sean used to score so many tries, uh, just really supporting up the middle of the pitch. So I played fullback a lot, so I used to just be in and around the middle of the pitch and as soon as there was a break, I was able to get up on the inside and get on the end of the try. So I just took that straight across Something I've always wanted to do and enjoyed scoring, so I just carried it on automatically. Even though I started on the wing, when I was put on the wing in Union, I was like, well, I don't want to be in the wing because in league, you're just static pretty much. You stay in your position. But in Union, it was like, no, you can go and do what you want. So I was off. I just ran off playing fullback, really, but just <laughs> on the wing in Union. I think I had a genuine problem as a child, and still now, to want to score tries, so I don't think it would have been much different to either code. I had absolutely no idea when I got to Northampton. Never played Union before, very rarely watched it. So the whole thing was just a whole new learning. Um, experience for me so I have a lot of, uh, to thank them for. To go and run and hit a rook was just complete nonsense to me. You play the ball and then you, you go back for the next play, you don't go and it's not continuous. So to make that automatic and go and hit rooks and um, it took time, it took a good two years for me to start to feel comfortable in, in playing any form of union. Uh, it probably helped me a little bit that Northampton went down to the championship at the time they kept the same team together. Players like Bruce Rayana, Carlos Spencer was in the Sawani Tongawea. We had some ridiculous players, so there was always a lot of space created for me to be able to still score tries. When you're on the wing as well, you are, you have you can afford to be out of the game a little bit. You have to anticipate, anticipate. If you're in a different, if you're in centre or wherever that is, you have a job to do. You can't think like that. But if you're on the wing, you're not involved in the play. If it's on the other side of the pitch, you can afford to just a, a gamble. And hopefully, if you've got good players on the edge, they'll make a bit of space, and then you're in it. And I think there came a point where I did it too much, and I, I couldn't understand what the, what the coaches were trying to tell me. But obviously now I get it, and there is a time and a place for it. You can't be gone all the time because you have a job to, to do and you need this tries to be scored on your own wing too. Uh, it was a big learning curve for me. You have to time it right too and anticipate in the right way because a lot of the time you need to be on the end to help the team too. Yeah, and I'd say in the last 10 years it's, it's definitely the norm now for, for a winger to be doing, to go and find in the ball. Um, hopefully I played a little bit of a part in that. I'd like to think so somewhere. A lot of players, they go over to France and actually um, they regress in regards to their ability, their skills, their speed, whereas you got quicker. Yeah, I also knew that that kind of thing happened when people go there, tend to go at the back end of the career. Uh, I was only 30, I didn't really feel like that. I had a lot of time for Ma, Nonu and, and Semi, people like this. Ma put an awful lot of time in. Still at the age of 36, he would constantly be the last out there. Uh, we had a good S&C coach who'd been Bob Slayer. Uh, he was a good sprint coach, so he used to help me. Training and doing extra bits is what kind of gives me my edge as a player, so I wanted to continue that. But I never anticipated the way it to go, I just wanted to play my game over there and see how it went. Vito, the basketball star then, Finn Russell, one-handed. There's so much space there for Aston, and Aston is in! Four is hat-trick! Against England.
Well, I went into the game knowing that it was a very unusual situation for me to play with Barbaros against England at Twickenham. And seeing Eddie before the game, I, I just wanted to say hello, really. There was nothing behind it, nothing. I just wanted to say hello. And uh, all he said was, if, if you want to play for England, you have to play in, you have to come back. That was not uh, him saying I'm going to be playing or anything like that. It was just an open answer, really. If I need one, if I wanted it enough, then you have to come back and play. And I was kind of all, all I really, really needed to hear was him to say that. And the day going so well, literally after the game, I was like, I need to try and get back and go and play for England again.